Hello everybody. There's quick, uh, a quick vlog for this Sunday. This is for mainly for Patreons actually. I'll make it public so you can all see what we're doing but this is to really to thank Patreons and to show you what your money, the cup of coffee or coffees you buy me every month to make my shows. This is what your money is being spent on. Established in 1996, Forex Overland is the world's first global overland expedition channel. Join us as we explore the world by four-wheel drive. Now behind me is my computer and there's a, there's a shot of the underside of the vehicle we have just purchased in Africa. This, this, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this project. We are building a really, really high mileage vehicle. Now, those of you who can recognize the underside of it, that is actually a photograph of the actual vehicle's underside. Doesn't look like long mileage to, it's, it's by far longer than any other vehicle. I think I've even ever driven. So the month of February, uh, Gwyn and I will be traveling together it, we were flying to Pretoria where we have bought the vehicle. We're then going to be driving uh, one of our favorite routes through Southern Africa. I like to, and it is a bit of a boast because it's not actually accurate. I have visited every single national park bar one. And we will be going to this national park. It's called the Addo Elephant National Park. And we're going to be then driving along the fabled garden route. Those of you in South Africa will know, oh, you'll all be waxing lyrical thinking, oh, Andrew, you ain't going to go to the garden route, wonderful. It's beautiful, really, really gorgeous. So we're driving from Pretoria to Cape Town along a really interesting route. In Cape Town, Paul, myself, and Sleiman will be like we did in 2019. marks but you do understand this is not going to go out and go unanswered. Re rebuilding this Land Cruiser. We're going to start with the mechanical side. That's what we're going to do in February. We're going to make it mechanically really really good and then through the year onward Paul and his team are going to build the interior and we've lined up uh, and what I'm doing actually is a bit of a showcase. Australia gets the lion's share of the of the publicity uh, the media exposure for its accessory industry because it's so good and it's so successful and i thought time to give south african the, our south african industry a chance because they do some really good stuff as well and i've already sent out several invitations to various south african accessory makers saying hey, would you like to be part of this project uh, so far it's just most aren't back from work yet, but the few that are have, have all said, oh, absolutely, we'd love to be involved. And of course, Terrain Tamer. Now, Terrain Tamer is not a South African, uh, they're not made in, the, the parts aren't made in South Africa, but there's, there's nothing quite the same in South Africa, but you can, you can purchase all of the components that we're going to build and restore this vehicle in South Africa. That's the aim anyway. Very nice. And so thank you to Terrain Tamer for supporting the project by again, like 2019, supplying us with parts for the rebuild. It's a fantastic relationship and in 2019, those of you who don't know and asking what, what, what happened to the 2019 build, very briefly, it was sold to pay for content that I had to do here in Australia because of COVID. This is going to be fun. electrical niggles that I need to sort out still. Okay. So I lived down there in the valley. The idea was that we would be able to go back every single year and, and then, you know, use that vehicle for expeditions in Africa. Couldn't do it because of COVID. And so forth, the resources had to be used and we used them here in Australia, mainly for the Range Rover project. So now, again, build a vehicle in, in, in um, uh, Cape Town and, st and store it there and go back every single year. We are planning a trip to Zambia and Malawi in April 2024 in the Land Cruiser. Back to 2023. 
Again, Patreons, this is where your money is being spent. We're going to the US. We will be doing some meet and greets. We don't have a schedule quite yet, but uh, we will be going to um, Florida, Hawaii, not in that order. Um, we're going to be doing a tour in a camper. We're going to be going into Canada. All right, and we will do a number of meet and greets and the schedule will be on the website once we have set, we set them up. And uh, Overland Expo West, we will be there. We will have our own, our plan is to have our own stand uh, for promoting the Overland Workshop and Egon at Overland Expo West. And that's in Flagstaff, Arizona, and that is in the middle of May. Let me come back to Australia. And we've got the project that I mentioned in the, uh, when, I, when I made a, a, an announcement that I wasn't going to purchase an Ineos Grenadier, uh, and in, but instead um, do this other project, which involves a possible replacement for troop carriers generally. And that is a heavy duty four wheel drive system and a people carrier that, that enables it to be a highly versatile vehicle because there are rumors, again, that troop reproduction may may end and may end fairly soon. It's it's there are root there are rumours. I don't know how. Uh, um, I don't know the facts. I know a few of them. I know enough to know that this there is a sense of urgency with this. It's possible that troop carriers will be no longer available to us, no matter where you live in the world. That is what I've heard. I'm trying to find out more. So this is an appeal. And I know the haters, hey, hate away, <laughs> knock yourself out. You know what that, you know that what's actually happened over the years? Whenever I do a video like this where I say, hey, this is where your money's being spent, do you want to be part of it? And I get the haters who um, complain at me about the free, how I finance the free stuff I give them for free. They can, and I, I cannot get my head around it. But you know the effect of it? The effect of it is, actually, it's become, I've had so much of it that it's become, well, do you remember, some of you will remember the Pajero episode. Um, I, I test drove a Pajero in uh, 2008. Family four-wheel drive, put a family in the back of it and it didn't perform well. And I had a magazine article and I had a TV show at South Africa and I was hammered by the, <laughs> by the Pajero community, not just the Pajero, but mainly the Pajero community and mainly those Pajero community in South Africa. And they attacked. And my reaction was, well, I'm going to do another video about it. And my reaction was, the <clears throat> I think the exact opposite of what they were hoping. Haters. The more you have a go at me, the more I say, stuff you. We're building another vehicle in South Africa. We're going to the US. I again am appealing to for funds for paying for air tickets. I'll give you a clue now. The cost, the cost of the trip to South Africa and back, just the air tickets and insurance is over 7,000 Australian dollars. Where do you think that money comes from? It comes from Patreons. That's how I spend your money. So again, buy me a cup of coffee and thank you to you Patreons. Very, 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 very much because without you, this would not happen because YouTube income alone isn't close, isn't close to enough. It doesn't even pay my rent. So, thank you again. See you in 2023, and I'm gonna show you a couple more pictures now of Land Cruiser sitting in Pretoria as we speak. And uh, it doesn't look like a high mileage, does it? No, it really, really doesn't. It's amazing, actually. Uh, we kind of, we didn't buy it blind. I did have somebody look at it. Uh, but there is a risk involved and I'll see what it's like when I get my hands on it and when again like in 19 when Paul and Hubert put it on the lift and we get a really close look at what we've bought. <laughs>